Alright, let's get started here. Day three. I looked up where the gas station is. It's a bit of a trek. But that's where we're gonna go. Oh no, the zombies ripped down my sheet rope. That's not good. Oh uh, yeah, today we're gonna go, hopefully, to the gas station, which is back kind of near where I sp where I spawned. Uh, let's see if I can make another sheet rope. There's one. Lunchbox has some water in it. Can't make a sheet rope out of socks, unfortunately. There we go. And the chips. Nom 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 nom. Yeah, no model for chips, apparently. down my sheet rope. Maybe they're out there. Hope I don't get my brains eaten. Oh, looks like it's alright. Okay. I like how the machete has blood on it. Do I have to wash it or something? Apparently not. Alright, but I gotta go back. Kinda near where I spawned. That's where the gas station is. And I'm hoping to get a car battery charger. So that... I can get that ambulance running. And if I get that ambulance running, I can lure the zombies away from here. I also want to take a crap car and go try to kill some zombies with it. Because apparently the devs nerfed killing zombies with cars, which is actually a welcome change in my opinion. It was way too easy to just slaughter thousands of zombies with one car, which is kind of unrealistic. So I'm glad they changed that, so you can't just, like, as soon as you get a car, you're pretty much invincible. So they changed that so that you are not just invincible as soon as you get a car. Oh, fuck, there's a lot of zombies around here. They're all wandering this way, too. See if I can wait for him to wander past. Try to cross in this gap. Yeah, they're all wandering over to join that group. There's a lot of them. One that was sitting on the fence saw me. Oh, there's another big group there. Sports car. Maybe I'll use that for my testing whether you can kill zombies with cars still. So far, so good. A 
another sports car. Is this like a really super rich community or something? Must be. I also want to get a bed today, uh, but I'll do that later. After I hopefully get a car battery charger. Because I won't have to go as far, it's not going to matter if it's late or not. But I'd rather not walk all this way. Unless... I can see... Alright, I think this is the gas station. No, it's just a convenience store. Well, we'll check it anyway. There's one in there. Take him out. Alright, let's get some food. This place seems pretty well sucked. Pretty well stocked. Some mustard. Yeah, rotten food. Chips. Wow, look at all those chips. That's a lot of chips. What? There's a van key? Huh. I have to look around for a van. Yeah, well, we got decent food out of this place. Bunch of rotten food. Use that for fertilizer later if I really want to. Let's get out of here. Yeah, must it be this fan? This fan looks like it's in pretty good condition. Nothing. Nothing! Keeps nothing in their trunk. No, I don't. Got a ton of drunk in my trunk. But I was also an Eagle Scout, so be prepared. That's their motto. Alright, gas station's over here next to the Spiffos. However, the Spiffos was mobbed last time I was here. Hopefully I'll be able to get to the gas station without too much problem. There's that car wash over there, that might have stuff in it. Does it have a key? Jack. Actually need that. Fishing tackle. Yeah, sure, why not? Looks like the gas station is pretty clear. Let's see. Let's see if the door is unlocked. Ooh, melted ice cream, my favorite. some of that. Aw, uh, yeah, melted ice cream. Mmm, delicious. Is 
Is there a back door? No? No back door? Apparently not. I'll have to break a window. Uh, hopefully that won't lure in too many zombies. fast, see if I can find a car battery charger in here. Full gas can. Could use a few more gas cans. gonna find a car battery charger in here. Bug wrench, I need. We have to search garages, apparently. I think that's the only other place I could find a car battery charger. Damn. Well, I guess I'll just head back. Drop my stuff off. Find a bed. That's a little bit more of a priority than car battery charger. find it in cars? I don't think you can find it in cars. West Point. Yeah, I need a Riverside map, not a West Point map. Let's get the fuck out of here. over here. And it looks like they wandered off the road. Sneak past these guys. Get a little bit more sneak training.
Wow. Lot of zombies. Jesus. A couple of them spotted me. One's got spear sticking out of it. Take her out. Must be a tough one. The butter knife. Oh, it's still pretty better. Now look at all these guys following me. Get away from me, zombies. I may switch to spear instead of machete. We'll see. Did I tear my sheet rope down again? No, thank god. And we're home. Alright, let's drop this stuff off. Drink some beer while I do it. Throw some of the chips in here. And actually, I want to put this gas in my generator. Oh, God damn it. Don't run, I'm gonna attract all the zombies from down below into the building. Don't want that. Okay. Add fuel. And I need to connect it too. Still some water left in it. Alright, I'll throw the gas can in there and I guess I'll just go get a bed. Need a bed. I think they weigh twenty pounds. Be 25, so I may not be able to even fit them in a bag. 20 kilos. Is 
Is this the empty house? No, it's got stuff in it. There was a giant horde on the other side of it, though. Here we go. No, I don't want to disassemble it. I want to pick it up. 50% chance to break it. Well, here's hoping I don't. Ah, damn, it did. One out of four, two out of four. I need a three and a four out of four. grab a nice chair and use that. I already have a nice chair. One of those teacher chairs. I seem to have no trouble sleeping in. So the bed's more for the aesthetic than actual function. So I need three out of four and four out of four for these large modern beds. We'll continue the search. Uh, I should search these cars, see if they have a car battery, try to drain them. Hope it doesn't have an alarm. Did not. How nice. No key though. that these things don't have alarms. Mole drop map, not what I need. Need a riverside map. Fully charged, or halfway charged sport battery. Hmm. 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 Well, that gives me some ideas. Let's see if I find anything else. Rosewood map. I found every kind of map except for the map I need. <laughs> see what's in this truck. Box of nails. Check this house. Zombies in it. <laughs> A 
mop. I wonder what you can use a mop for. They must have given it a use. Machines. Not that I need them, because there doesn't seem to be any use for washing machines other than if you have the hemophilic trait or whatever. I'm actually going to collect alarm clocks. I'm going to see if I can make an alarm clock parade. Large oak bed. That's yeah, different. Maybe I'll get lucky. No. Although, I can't carry them all. Unless... I do this. Damn. Alright, well, we'll do multiple trips. Where's the front door? Oh, it's over here. Because with this, I'll only need one of the of the oak bed components. Whereas with the large modern bed, I need two components for it. And it's not too far of a walk, so it's not so bad. Breaking my legs doing it and my back. But what are you gonna do? stuff. Throw it in my storage room. Cool. Let's get that other oak bed thing. Boring, my opinion. But that's what most of this game is going to be, because I'm not fighting, just building. There's a bookshelf here. Got kitchen supplies in it. Oh, maybe I could take that bed. Maybe it's one of those two piece beds instead of these four piece giant beds. Although, honestly, I want a giant, a giant bed. How can you have a pimpin' bit? Pimp and base without a giant bed. Can't. 
Let's try picking it up. <laughs> no, I failed miserably. Oh well. What's in here? Some more nails. Could always use more nails. There's a garage. Toolbox. That's a new one. Kind of cool though. I'll take that for my base. Apparently you can't... Oh, I must... probably have to hold still while you do it. That's why you couldn't transfer it to the bag. I don't know. Throw this with the other oak bed shit. I'll put the chest down here. Alright, so this is piece two. So I only need piece three of a large oak bed. Or pay piece three or four of a modern bed. Back to it. Let's keep searching. Mm, beer. And there's a whole cul-de-sac of houses here, so we'll check them all out. Well, how about the garage? Also locked. How about this window? That was easy. More kitchen stuff on these bookshelves. That's weird. They must have like messed up the uh, the loot tables or something. A fresh peanut butter sandwich. I will take it. Awesome. Yeah, they said they added hair dye to the game. I'm probably never going to use it, but it's kind of cool if they did. You dye your hair. Apparently hair dye is something that's selling out in stores. All the people quarantined are trying to dye their hair now. I don't know why. But you know, whatever floats your boat. I think I have enough bowls now. I don't really need to grab any more. Home office, lame. There's another modern bed, I believe. Well, 
Let's try to take it apart. Yeah, large modern bed. So I need three and four for this one. Perfect. Let's get out of here. Or, or let's loot everything else that I want out of here before leaving. Bed acquired. I may not be able to hold all of the pieces, but I got them all. <laughs> Zombies seem to have disappeared from this area. They're probably all back in the parking lot or something. Car battery charger is going to be a bit of a problem finding one of those. Although I have a sports car battery in this thing, it might be a sports car too, but I would take it to a different one. All right. Um, set up our bed in here. This will be the bedroom. Alright, he's within reach. Getting somewhere. Got a bed. A real bed. So, what now? I guess I'll spend the rest of the night disassembling things. Or reading. No, I'll spend the rest of the night reading. And tomorrow, probably. I got a lot of reading to do. Here, take a load off. I'll probably spend all of tomorrow reading and disassembling and just don't even leave the base. because I'm going to get some metalworking by disassembling all these blue chairs. Oh, there's my metalworking book. I'll read until about 1 o'clock. No. Set my alarm for 9. Or is a 
saying military time since it's military time. Oh, one hundred. Perfect. All right. Time for bed. Wait, though, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to set my alarm. Okay. Sleep. You know, I'm just going to keep recording for the next day because that last day was kind of abbreviated. A lot of these tasks are related. Yeah, I woke up early. Okay. Uh, read up. read this whole book in order to maximize my skill gain from all the things that I disassemble from this second floor. And, you know, after I read this book, I'll take apart one chair and it'll give me both <laughs> Both skill points. Kind of a waste of time, but for this character, I'm going to go for maxing out survived time. Whereas the previous one, I was going for maxing out zombies killed. Still haven't recovered his save. I don't know if I will. Alright. Done with that. Is there anything in there still? Oh yeah. That stuff. I'll throw your chips back in your bag. Apparently you can't transfer things in and out of bags while you're moving. Which I thought was a thing. I don't know. Oh. Maybe not when they're in your hand hand. Increases your boredom and unhappiness. Ah, well. Nom 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 nom. Uh, I thought I had some comic books in here. I will read one and you won't be so bored. Okay. Now I want propane torches. Where are my propane torches at? Not in here? Oh. Should organize my shit at some point. I thought I grabbed some from the hardware store. Where are they at? Ah, 
right here. And the welding mask. Yep. Alright, well, first things first, let's disassemble the chairs in here. Ah, shit, I got the hiccups for my beer. I hold my breath. Yep, got a whole point. Just from one. Yeah. yeah three chairs. <laughs> well, I could dig it. Uh, no, I'm done with that until... I find metalwork for intermediates. Uh, I will take apart these desks though to get level four carpentry. There's just so many desks in there in here. It's not really a waste. Well, let's unpack the stuff and then this will be a garbage. There's so many desks in here, it's not really a waste to, uh... Disassemble them without having the skill book. Get rid of that boarding. Collecting all the garbage, collecting all the garbage. Alright, start disassembling. Oh, I need the saw. Apparently I don't have it. Garbage. But not the vitamins. Supposedly these vitamins reduce your tiredness, Moodle. But I've literally never seen them do that. Like, you can take a whole bottle of them and it won't even reduce your tiredness by one. Oh yeah, I need the saw. Where'd I put it? There we go. Yeah, I'm working on my bedroom. enough desks in here. To really train it. We'll see. I'll take apart everything in this room and we'll see how far it goes. Just raw dogging it without the book. 
XP bonus. Pretty slow. zombie apocalypse. So if you are still alive, you're probably living out of prayer. pretty far, actually. So let's just clean up the room. You have to pick up them, you have to pick them up individually now. Maybe I should go off on another history rant. Let's see, what is a good period in history? To talk about. There's the 1918 pandemic. So let's learn some things about the uh, 1918 Spanish flu. Which is not even the Spanish flu, it originated in Kansas, they believe. Uh, but because World War I was going on at the time, there was censorship in most Western countries, and since Spain was neutral in the war, their press actually was reporting the deaths from the Spanish flu, whereas the wartime censorship of the powers engaged in the war uh, prevented the press from actually reporting on it because they did not want to display any kind of weakness. Uh, but it was rather devastating to both sides uh, in the entire world. I mean, it was a novel flu virus. No one had immunity to it. Um, and it also was kind of unique in that it would attack people between 20 and 40 uh, because it kind of short-circuited your immune system. Uh, where the strong, like the harder your immune system fought against the virus of the Spanish flu, the harder it actually attacked you, um, caused a lot of damage. And fun fact, I actually got the Spanish flu in 2009. The, uh, the swine flu outbreak in 2009 is the same virus that was responsible for the Spanish flu. Uh, so I got the Spanish flu in 2009. It's pretty crazy. Like, the worst sickness I ever had. It was really nuts. Because uh, I had, you know, I was rather young. I had a decent immune system, like a very strong immune system, and yeah, it kicked my ass, like I probably lost about 20 pounds while I was fighting it off, 
and it was really rough. Like it was really bad. But I survived it, and then I didn't get sick again for another three years after. <laughs> so it was kind of useful to my immune system, I guess, uh, given the fact that I survived it. Um, but in 1918, a lot of people were not so fortunate. Particularly because they did not have an effective way to fight pneumonia. And pneumonia was the big killer from the 1918 flu. Like, the flu itself didn't kill very many people. It was the fact that it caused pneumonia that really did the damage because they didn't have a, a good way to treat pneumonia. Uh, whereas now, you know, we got antibiotics. We can, you can get pneumonia out of your system pretty, pretty easily. It's not so bad. Hey, right. oh, what do I want to do now? I want to get my carpentry to level four so I can make a new door. So let's go to another classroom and start disassembling desks. Here's one. There's not many desks in here. Another feature of the 1918 flu was it came in three waves. And the second wave is considered the most deadly. I mean, it was the most deadly. It had the far, by far, the highest death, death toll. And as we are seeing now, we are learning some, like, I'm drawing conclusions that perhaps the fact that the 1918 flu came in waves was the fact that people were unable to maintain the discipline needed to contain the virus long enough. Uh, so once the, uh, the public health measures from the first wave were relaxed, they then got a second wave, and that's exactly what we're seeing in the United States. Like, Georgia, Florida, all the southern states are reopening, even though they are seeing a massive increase in their uh, COVID cases. And those guys fucking suck anyway. Fucking southerners, they're the worst. Big reason that they're doing it is to stop people from being able to get unemployment. Uh, insurance because here in New York in the United States if you lose your job you can get unemployment and that will pay part of your former salary um, but if they lift all of the lockdowns like they are in the southern states fucking idiots then people are technically allowed to go to work so they cannot get unemployment. So that's that's what those guys, you know, their elected leaders are angling for, is force people to go back to work under threat of starvation. And who cares how many of them die of the virus. That's pretty fucked. Thankfully here in New York we are taking this shit seriously and staying closed and only opening when it is safe to do so doing so in stages uh, we actually have a smart plan unlike those fuckheads in Georgia but just like the 1918 flu this COVID crisis is showing that the United States is not one single entity it is literally 50 states and all 50 states all do their own different things getting bored so I need to read something uh, don't I have some comic books in here where did I put those comic books there they are damn that bored huh 
Alright, I got level 4 carpentry now. Alright, where's my sledgehammer? Yeah, let's reverse this so that the weapons are always at the top. Put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Is it worth it? Can you work it? I want to make a new door so I can get out onto the roof over here. But first, I need to knock a hole in the wall. Boom. I'll need to go downstairs to get some door hinges and doorknobs. Although I could just take apart the doors up here. Nah, I'm gonna go downstairs and get them. So yeah, I have a hypothesis that the second wave of the 1918 flu was particularly deadly because people went through the public health measures of the first wave, but then they lost discipline and refused to do the same for the second wave. And that made the second wave significantly more deadly. And also the, I mean, they don't actually know because at the time they didn't, they couldn't do genetic sequencing, but the generally accepted theory is that the second wave of the Spanish flu, Spanish flu was a mutated version of the first wave that through natural, natural selection in the trenches of World War I became more deadly. Um, and the way that worked was in the trenches of World War One, if somebody got the flu and it was a relatively mild strain, they stayed in stayed where they were, didn't really move around, you know, stayed in the trenches and didn't infect too many other people. Whereas Um, if they had a particularly a particularly potent case of the flu, they would be sent on crowded trains and etc. to the back, the rear of the front, where they would be put in a medical facility with a bunch of other people. So the the more deadly strains were more likely to infect more people because the people would, you know, the soldiers would be transported in close quarters, kept in close quarters when they had the more deadly strain, whereas the less deadly strain, um, it wouldn't really spread as much. So natural selection acted such that the more deadly strain became more prominent. All right, we got a door. That's good. Now, finally, I can go out this way. Uh, eat some chips. I'm running low on water, so let's go into the bathroom and get some water. I have plenty of water from these toilets and everything. And unfortunately, that same mechanism of natural selection is probably acting out today. Whereas people with a mild strain will stay home and not really go out and infect others. Whereas people with a really severe strain will go to the hospital uh, and 
infect multiple other people because we don't have sufficient protective equipment to prevent them from infecting other people. So that's a good time. Alright, um, I'm gonna make a window. Let's see, how many... Two planks for that, and then probably two more. One, two, three, four. But yeah, just recently we just recently we passed seventy thousand deaths to COVID in the United States, and it's just gonna get a hell of a lot worse. Especially with those fuckheads down south. But you know, they were stupid enough to rebel in 1860, so... Can't really expect too much from them. Alright, I got a window. Now I need to make a sheet rope. I want to have an internal uh, sheet rope that may stand a better chance of not getting ripped down by zombies. I already searched all these lockers for clothing. Yeah, I left off over here. Another interesting thing about the uh, 1918 flu was seeing the large disparities in the death rates in different states and different cities within the United States based on what they did uh, to try to prevent it. Uh, there's, there's been various... Uh, different studies on the matter. I can't remember which city specifically like Philadelphia had a really bad time Because they held a parade in the middle of the flu outbreak and that just made things way worse There we go Or, uh, San Francisco saw like a double peak because they locked down early but then they also lifted the restrictions too early and then they had another wave um, so their second wave was actually like two peaks or the second wave of the 1918 flu it's like two peaks uh, the first one smaller the second one higher because they lifted their uh, restrictions too early. And you know, here we are, repeating the same mistakes of history. Those who learn from history are doomed to watch others repeat it. Yes, that's what I always say. Well, looks like the zombies cleared out of here. So that's good. I think the building is mostly, mostly empty and evacuated. Um, I want like to come down here and get as many books as I can. So I don't have to keep coming down here. At least some of the anti-boredom books. I'll probably come back and relocate the uh, the bookshelves themselves. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll keep them there, and then once I secure the 
the entire place, I can just keep this as the library. Alright. Well, that's more than enough to keep me from getting bored for a long time. So let's get out of here because it's not actually secure. Looking for mechanics for, or not mechanics, metalwork for intermediates. Let's see if I can find any. Mechanics, but. Well, metal work. Bring these up there so I can disassemble them once I have read. Electrical for intermediates. Actually, I could take them apart now. I read electrical for beginners all the way through. No mechanics for beginner or er, metal work for intermediates. That's unfortunate. Really disappointing as far as libraries go. But what are you gonna do? Take take this apart right now. Ah, it's real close. I got I think I have a few others in the storage room over here that I could take apart. What do you got? Not in here. Not in here. CD player. There we go. And that got it. So next up, electricity for intermediates. It's time for bed. And yeah, take a load off. And once again, I think I'll read until about 0100. And go to bed. Those who learn from history are doomed to watch others repeat it. Because the majority of the general population is not smart enough to learn.
That doesn't make them worth less as people. They're just fucking stupid. A lot of stupid people in the world. Doesn't mean they deserve to die or anything like that. They're just less capable of critical thinking. Alright, let's set this alarm. And try to go to bed. Yeah, temperature's dropping. Getting cold. Brrrr. Yeah, temperature's going back up, because the sun came up. Nice. I woke up early again, but that's cool. Alright, well, I think this is a good place to leave off. I have no idea what I'm going to do now. But now I'll have some time to think about it. Oh, I hope you enjoyed my boring-ass base building and random history rants. So I'll catch you next time.